Preface The Past, The Future When will they return? I have been asked this question countless times by people who have read my books. The they being the Anunnaki, the extraterrestrials who had come to Earth from their planet Nibiru and were revered in antiquity as gods. Will it be when Nibiru in its elongated orbit returns to our vicinity? And what will happen then? Will there be darkness at noon and the Earth shall shatter? Will it be peace on Earth or Armageddon, a millennium of trouble and tribulations, or a messianic second coming? Will it happen in 2012, or later, or not at all? These are profound questions that combine people's deepest hopes and anxieties with religious beliefs and expectations, questions compounded by current events, wars and lands where the entwined affairs of gods and men began, the threats of nuclear holocausts, the alarming ferocity of natural disasters. They are questions that I dared not answer all these years, but now are questions the answers to which cannot, must not, be delayed. Questions about the return, it ought to be realized, are not new. They have inexorably been linked in the past, as they are today, to the expectation and the apprehension of the day of the Lord the end of days, Armageddon. Four millennia ago, the Near East witnessed a God and His Son promising heaven on earth. More than three millennia ago, king and people in Egypt yearned for a messianic time. Two millennia ago, the people of Judea wondered whether the Messiah had appeared. And we are still seized with the mysteries of those events. Are prophecies coming true? We shall deal with the puzzling answers that were given, solve ancient enigmas, decipher the origin and meaning of symbols, the cross, the fishes, the chalice. We shall describe the role of space-related sites in historic events and show why past, present, and future converge in Jerusalem, the place of the bond heaven-earth. And we shall ponder why it is that our current 21st century A.D., is so similar to the 21st century B.C. Is history repeating itself? Is it destined to repeat itself? Is it all guided by a messianic clock? Or is the time at hand? More than two millennia ago, Daniel of Old Testament fame repeatedly asked the angels, When? When will be the end of days, the end of time? More than three centuries ago, the famed Sir Isaac Newton, who elucidated the secrets of celestial motions, composed treatises on the Old Testament's Book of Daniel and the New Testament's Book of Revelation. His recently found handwritten calculations concerning the end of days will be analyzed, along with more recent predictions of the end.